Okay. Um, I want to just show y'all like the first step in applying acrylic. Um, I got my little finger right here and I've already applied the nail. You want to make sure that the nail goes from side to side. You don't want it overlapping, but you don't want it too little. Um, so we went ahead and found a tip. And what you do is you file down the bridge. Now I usually use the C curve nails and those are the nails um, that are shaped like this with, with, with pretty much with the um, smile line already in them. But those right there, they're not as long. They don't come as long as these do. So that's the reason why I'm using these. Well for myself, if I were to do something on somebody else, I would just use the C-curve because most people don't get their nails this long. And you basically want to file that down. Now the first thing you do before you do this is you take out the shine off the natural nail. So you will buff up the nail um, a little bit. Not much. You don't want to dig into the nail bed, but you'll buff it so it has a, a, a not a smooth surface, but like a rough surface. Then you would apply your primer or your bond or whatever you use. Then you file that down. And I don't have to do this a whole lot because this is a practice finger, so. But you would want to make this line pretty much invisible. And usually you want to file in one direction, but like I said, this is a practice finger, so. So we're going to cut it to length. And this isn't me, so. I have to do it like this because that's in the way. Okay, so after you get the nail and you cut it to the, the length that you want, you can go ahead and shape the free edge if you like. Just going to shape it a little bit. And I'll do the rest of it after the acrylic is on now. So we got what we needed. We got the, the um, nail filed down. So then we're going to go ahead and start with our acrylic application now. When you actually, um, when you get ready to start, you want to go ahead and submerge your whole brush into the acrylic. You don't want to just dip the tip. That's not going to work. You'll end up with dry spots if you do that. So, I have my acrylic liquid and I have my powder. So, I'm going to dip it. I'm going to take a ball. I want to apply that to the tip. Okay, you pat it down and bring it forward. You don't want to actually be painting on because that's not what you're going for. So that was our first ball. Then we're going to take another one. And you don't want to get the acrylic on the cuticle. That is what causes lifting. Okay, so we're working towards and you see I'm doing it thick so you can actually see the difference in it but when you get towards the cuticle you're going to kind of start to thin it out a little bit bit more liquid. I try to use, just pour enough liquid for what I'm doing. I don't just fill the brush up because I'm not a um, nail shop, so I don't need to have the monitor just sitting out, not being used. So, and this is going to be the last ball, so we want to kind of make it thin. So we're going to take it, and like I said, we're going to miss the, um, the actual cuticle. Don't want any on the cuticle. Okay, 
And there you have it. Um, so that's it. So from there, what you do is you let that dry, of course. You know, if you were doing a full set, by the time you got back to the first one you did, it'll be dry. So you would let that dry. Now, if you have a e if you have an e drill, which is just the electric drill, you would go around it, go around the cuticle. But of course, you would miss the cuticle. You don't want to eat somebody's cuticle up. But you will go around the cuticle and try to flatten that, because you want this kind of shape in your nail, like that. You don't want it, you know. You want it flat towards that end and smooth towards this end. Now, I do have electric drill, but I did all of mine. By this one, I have to get a converter for my drill. So until I get that, um, I had to use the regular old file. But you would go around the cuticle, you know, that way. You would smooth out the, the top of it. It's not dry yet, but you would go over the top and smooth it out till you get that shape right there. So that is, um, I guess that's acrylic nails um, part one. I'll try to do another one. For you, I'm gonna do a little um, art for you. So I'm gonna do that's gonna be my next video. 